Yeah, two two wins, obviously. Um, speaks volumes in the changing room. Breeds confidence, winning games. Clean sheets does that, scoring goals. Um, people doing their jobs, really. Um, uh, defending as a unit, attacking as a team. Um, everybody having that belief and confidence needed to put in good performances. What changed in that short space of time? I think we knew we hadn't been good enough. You know, and I credit my players for um, you know, responding to criticism. Um, from me and from outside the the walls of the changing room, and and putting in really good performances. But we we know it's also a starting point as well, and and that confidence and belief and, and performances we put in, that, that that has to be the norm now, and we have to continue that. So I think of a flash in the pans at a game. Um, I think when you put back to back performances together, it's a big statement. But then you're right, you might you, you have to carry on, and it's not always just about getting a result. It's about the level of performances and and, and the way you play, and and ultimately for fans, the commitment they see the players giving to the shirt and the football club. Um, and in the last two performances, you know, we, we've had we've had that desire uh, in abundance from the players. Watford was as good a team as ever in the championship. And I, I do believe if you come if you come above them this season, you will get in the top three, um, if, if not the top two. So it, it's a challenge for us, but we know they've got good players and we know they've got various changes of system and shape you know, with personnel they've got. When you're playing against good sides and you're playing against teams that can change, you worry about yourself. That's what I do as a manager. I worry about us and getting us right and, and making sure that we're in the best possible condition, uh, best tactically we can be, um, you know, to, to stop them, but also affect the game the other way and be as be as proactive and as aggressive and front foot as we have been. Well, I, I was the driving force in making the decision. I think it's a, it's a Welsh national competition. I think we should be in it. Um, I think it's more if the games fall, where's an opportunity for fringe players? I say fringe players, players that I've had as many opportunities in the first team recently uh, to get some minutes. Then, then I would use it. But predominantly, it's going to be with under twenty-three players um, to compete against men um, and, and, and get a taste for that. Um, and I, I think it's a good competition. Um, you know, we've not been in it for a long time, and I just thought yeah, I had to change. I want to be respectful to, to the competition and, and Welsh football on a whole. And you know, I think it's only right that, that we're in the competition. It was just an opportunity that the lads play under 23s football, and we're a very young group, an average age in the under 23s of under 19, um, which, which is the last I've, I've ever known. But that's the long term future of the club and, and, and players, and, and you know, the opportunity to go out and play. In, in a game, two, maybe three in the competition, however far they can go in the competition um, and compete against against um, senior players, probably a lot of ex-players as well, ex-pros, you know, is really important for their development.